Since time immemorial, land and water have constituted the basic elements essentially required for sustaining all forms of life. Great civilizations flourished on our planet Earth wherever these resources were in plenty to support agricultural crops and other production systems. Over a period of time, increased biotic pressures, coupled with excessive exploitation and unscientific management of these natural resources, has led to severe land degradation problems. Out of the total degraded land area of 121 million hectares in the country, ravines alone account for 3.6 million hectares across different states. In order to conduct research and develop technologies and strategies for reclamation and productive utilization of ravines and adjoining marginal lands spread over 4.5 lakh hectares along the Chambal River, a research center was established by the Government of India at Kota in October 1954. Later on, this research center, along with other such centers under the Ministry of Agriculture, Government of India, were transferred to the Indian Council of Agricultural Research in 1967 and subsequently brought under the administrative control of the Central Soil and Water Conservation Research and Training Institute, Dehradun, in 1974. The primary mandate of the center is to have a appraisal of uh, erosion hazard in and around the ravines of Chambal and its tributaries to study and evaluate the hydrological behavior of these ravines as influenced by different uh, monsoon patterns and uh, land use options and to develop technological packages um, which are suitable for rehabilitation of these ravines and productively utilizing these ravines and also to develop uh, technological packages for rent fed agriculture which are the dominant land use around these ravines. The research center has a well laid out research farm of 68 hectares area comprising 34 hectares of arable land and 34 hectares of ravine land to conduct research and to demonstrate rain-fed farming and agroforestry systems. The centre is well equipped with laboratories, a library, meteorological observatory, training hostel and lecture hall facilities to accomplish its mandate effectively. The thrust areas of research are covered through seven programmes, namely water erosion appraisal in Chambal Ravine region conservation measures for sustainable production systems, hydrological behavior of watersheds for conservation planning, rehabilitation of areas affected by mass erosion, participatory integrated watershed management, socio-economic analysis and policy development for watershed management, and human resource development and technology transfer. The centre has developed and evaluated technological options for arresting extension of ravines and their reclamation and also to improve productivity of the rain-dependent production systems in the Chambal Ravine region. The centre has developed a soil erosion map of eastern Rajasthan. The erosion map amply demonstrates that despite relatively low average annual rainfall, water-induced erosion is a serious problem in the region. Over the last five decades, the Kota Research Centre has evolved a number of cost-effective resource conservation technologies to reclaim degraded ravine lands and their productive utilisation in arable and non-arable lands. For arable lands, one of the major agronomical measures was 5 cm pre-sowing irrigation with harvested water which increased the yield of chickpea by 50%, linseed by 61% and mustard by 90% as compared to rain-fed conditions in the Chambal ravines. As a contingency crop planning in the Chambal ravines, intercropping systems like sorghum and pigeon pea at 1 is to 1 ratio, pigeon pea and black gram at 1 is to 2, castor and green gram at 1 is to 2, and soybean and pigeon pea at 4 is to 1 ratio proved to be more productive and remunerative than sole cropping of component crops during normal monsoon conditions. In case of delayed monsoon conditions, 
Castor and Greengram have been found effective over other systems in sustaining the productivity to a large extent. To conserve rainwater in black soils, indigenous tillage practice perform better in conserving 18% higher soil moisture, thus increasing the yield of chickpea by 22% over mechanical tillage practices. Under rain-fed sorghum, recycling of crop residue at 5 tons per hectare increased the soil organic carbon by 41%, available nitrogen by 14%, and phosphorus by 25%, which consequently increased the sorghum yield by 18% through improvement in the soil's physical properties. Similarly, mechanical measures of contour furrows with 0.06 square meter cross-section area and spaced at 6 meter horizontal interval in interbunded area improve crop yield and support the contour and graded buns which often fail due to repeated swelling and shrinking in clay soils. For non-arable lands, temporary check dams made of either live vegetation or loose boulder or brushwood in medium deep gully beds at a vertical interval of 90 centimeters stabilize the gully beds and significantly improved the soil moisture regime. For safe disposal of runoff, construction of diversion buns of 2.5 square meter cross section between agriculture and gullied lands at a distance twice the depth of the gully with a provision of drop spillway has been recommended. Eco-friendly and cost-effective vegetative measures include economical utilization of chambal ravines by planting bamboo and effective stabilization of deep ravines through gully plugs in conjunction with plantation of bamboo. Vegetative barriers of vetiver, sacramunja, Sancris ciliaris and Dicanthia manulatum were found to be very effective in reducing the erosion hazard significantly besides many other benefits. The Centre has undertaken several programmes sponsored by various ministries such as the Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Rural Development and Ministry of Water Resource etc. for effective dissemination and demonstration of developed technologies at the farmer's field following watershed approach. Results from Chajawa watershed have revealed that various bioengineering measures reduce the runoff by 16.5% with significant attenuation of peak flows, thus moderating the floods in downstream reaches and causing the water table to rise in the wells. <laughs> तो ऊपर खाबड़ जमीन थी और वो नाला कड़ा रहता वो नाले की समस्या से पैदावार कम आती थी भूखड़ जमीन थी उसके बाद में ये प्रोजेक्ट आया और इन लोगों ने मेहनत की मेलबंदी की और नाले रोके पक्के बंदे बांध के तो इससे क्या है कि हमारी जमीन थोड़ी समतल हुई इससे नमी खेत में टहलने लगी तो इस इसमें ये फायदा हुआ कि फसल अच्छी हुई यहाँ फली बोरी भी गई कि निकलती थी दो बोरी भी नहीं निकलती थी आज तीन बोरी चार बोरी निकलती है और इसके माध्यम से अभी तक भी फायदा ही फायदा मिल रहा है तो जो प्रोजेक्ट में हमारा जमीन है इसमें खेती करते हैं और पहले जो ये काम हुआ था उससे बहुत ज़्यादा फायदा हुआ मतलब जो प्रदर्शन लगाया ना उनकी बहुत बढ़िया पैदावार आई जल का स्तर है अब टू पुलों में कुओं में और गाँव के पेक्षा उसका जल स्तर ऊपर आ गया क्रॉप डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन एंड कंजर्वेशन मेजर्स इम्प्रूव्ड द क्रॉप यील्ड बाय 50 टू 100 परसेंट इन बड़ा खेड़ा वाटरशेड इन बूंदी दस इंक्रीसिंग द फार्म इनकम बाय 44 परसेंट विद एक्विटी इम्प्रूवमेंट जल संरक्षण और संदर्भ केंद्र कोटा द्वारा जो कार्यक्रम हाल का चला इससे इन लोगों ने एनी कट भी लगवाई गांव में उससे काफ़ी जमीन का कटाव रुका पानी का भी जो वाटर लेवल था उसमें भी कुछ फर्क पड़ा और जमीन का कटाव रुकने के बाद में वो जो खाल नाल जो भी थे उनमें लेवलिंग भी हुआ और कई खेतों में लेवलिंग भी करवाया इन लोगों ने काम जो भी किया गांव के हित में हुआ किसानों के हित में हुआ द सेंटर कंडक्ट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कैपेसिटी बिल्डिंग प्रोग्राम्स 
which include regular training courses for officer and graduate assistants deputed by the state government and tailor-made short courses of one to two weeks duration in the field of soil and water conservation, agroforestry and watershed management sponsored by central and state governments, autonomous bodies and NGOs. A one-month summer practical training program is also organized for undergraduate students deputed by various state agricultural universities. The Center has undertaken several outreach programs to create mass awareness about the technologies related to conservation of soil and water and watershed management. These include field demonstrations, Farmers' Day, National Resource Conservation Week, National Science Day, etc. The Kota Research Center, under the Central Soil and Water Conservation Research and Training Institute, Dehradun, is actively working to tackle the problems of the depleting natural resource base effectively through the development of appropriate technologies for reclamation of ravine lands, which would help in improving productivity and thus help in food and livelihood security of resource-poor farmers in this semi-arid Chambal Ravine region.